outside and eyes burn like a torch in the winter. Family is one of the most important parts of our being. Without family, how can you really grow as a person? Where else do we begin to learn about morals? To learn the basics. We need family. They help us figure out who we are and who we want to be. Families teach us how to love and where would we be without love? The idea of starting a family can seem daunting. We fear settling down and making real commitment, especially one as big as having a child. But what we've forgotten is the blessing it is to be able to bear a child. It's an honour to create something so precious and raise them to be living proof of all your hard work. We need to change this mentality that a child is the end of life, because really, it's only the beginning. The family is failing in modern society. The family decline theory suggests that more people in Britain choose to live alone or as couples without children, or unfortunately cannot have children. The number of people living in family homes with children fell from 52% in 1961 to 36% in 2009. Also, the divorce rate has risen dramatically. In the 1950s, there was 33,000 divorces, and in 2000, there was 155,000 divorces. In England and Wales, 42% of marriages end up in divorce. Single parent families have become the norm in our society, as there are 1.8 million single parents in the UK, with 90% of them being women. We live in a society that tells us two children is enough, as the average number of children per family is 1.9. But for some families, this simply isn't the case. This is Maribel and Carl and their children. Emily, Alethea, Carla, Pablo, Gabby, Jamie, Luca, Esther, Matthew, Rosie and Nelly. And this is their story. Um. Well, I came to uh, England when I was 18 years old, uh, so about 26 years ago. Um, I came as an au pair, and uh, yes, I came for a gap year uh, to study English, and I came to live with, a, with an English family who I found out about through the church uh, in Spain, where I lived. Um, I came to live with this family and uh, your dad was um, the eldest son of this family. He didn't live in the house that I was living in, he, he had his own place, uh, but he, um, yeah, he came down to the house uh, to play with his younger brothers and sisters. And then, um, yes, yeah, so, you know, we became friends very quickly, he would take me out. Um, with his friends, so we used to uh, spend a lot of time together. And uh, within a year, um, we, we got married. And we were both in the church and we both heard uh, the same uh, promise, you know, that God had a, a plan for our lives, um, which was a lot more exciting than anything that we could have, uh, we could um, imagine for ourselves doing. Uh, we both believed this um, and it led us to, once we were married, to trust in this promise and, and let God lead our marriage and that involved being open to life, to whatever God's plan was for us um, and after 25 years, you know, we, we've experienced over all this time that God, you know, that promise was true and that he has been fulfilling it throughout these years. <laughs> no, I thought you would just echo everything what your mum just said. And from my, my point of view was, 
Yeah, because I was working at Royal Mail when we met, and I was working a lot of nights. Uh, very, it was alright. I was a young lad, uh, lots of money, I was working nights, and I had a little house. But there come a time where I was thinking, God, this is boring. This is just getting up and just going to work, and then sleeping during the day, and then working at night again, just repeating that process. And my intention was just to work at Royal Mail as long as possible, pay the mortgage off, have this little house. Not get married, just have a girlfriend because I didn't want to, I didn't really want to share the house with, with somebody else. So that's how I sort of planned how my life would be until, until I met your mum. And then uh, things changed and uh, I wanted to be married to her, I wanted to, you know, to live with me, to live in the house, I wanted to have the house. Uh, and as for having children, we remember it wasn't really an issue, it wasn't really a plan to have lots of children, it was just to be, well, to be open to life after everything that's happened, meeting your mum, and my change completely of just, you know, just having a girlfriend and having my own place, to having someone to, to live with, you know, to give, not me, only myself, but to give the, you know, to give my, my house and, you know, my savings, everything that saved up from nights, all those thousands of pounds, you know, mum, 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 you know, mum was welcome to it. And so as well with children, it wasn't, whereas at one time I thought, no, I didn't really want to have any children. It was quite, uh, no, I didn't really, I didn't really want the bother of having children. I wanted a, I, mean, I wanted a good social life. And, you know, having children was, uh, you know, that would have been, they, they would have gone in the way of a social life, but then again, that that changed as well. I thought that you know the idea of being open to life, and you know if, if, if you know because 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 we because we know a lot of people who can't have children, you know, you know, close friends, family, who can't have you know, and some people are a bit arrogant really. I think they can have children on tap when there's so many people who can't have children. So just to be open, open to life doesn't mean to have 20, 30, 40 children, it just means being open to life, the possibility of life. And as it, as, and as it turned out with us, you know, we, you know, we've had, you know, we've had 11 children. It could have gone, it could have been the other way, you know, we could have, one of us might have had an issue that uh, we couldn't, have, we couldn't have, you know, conceived. So, and that would have been something that we would have dealt with as, as, a, as a married couple, as it is, you know, we've, uh, you know, we've just been open to life and we've had these, preg you know, these pregnancies and then these, these children, so it's not something that we've aimed to do, it's just that I thought, well, just continue in the same vein. Why why stop after that and just say, well, let's just get married, not have children, and then just be self-sufficient, just be, just, be, just be us two, but we carried on, you know. We, we had one and it wasn't as bad as what people, you know, for, for being a young man, to listen to people, especially, you know, to what you read and hear and, you know, see, it wasn't as, it wasn't as bad as what people said having children. Uh, and so once we had the first one, I thought, well, you know, how can you just not have another one? How can you restrict it? If you're overawed by the first child, the first pregnancy, the first childbirth, you know, why restrict your life in that, in, in that way? <laughs> yes, we've been open to life. And, as it turned out, we've had, you know, we have had 11 children. Like I said, we never aimed to have 11 children. So, yeah, so that's it. That's so sad. Friends might come and go, but family's there as um, a big support network, I think. There's certain people in my life who are really good friends who I would class as important as family. I always think of the family as a, a community, and you know, it's a safe place, a place where you can be completely yourself and know that you're always loved. People have been become much more concerned with what are my rights, and, and so we become more focused, I think, on the individual and the rights of the individual, which is in many ways a good thing. It has a lot of positive um, spin-offs, but I think we're less focused now as a society on 
at the role that each of us plays individually in, in bigger context within our families and within wider society as well. I think we survive in the if a family is secure and is a place where you learn about authority, then what I have seen is that the children know much more what their role is, what their place in the world is, that they can be happy to be a child. Baby, do you think about the past? Do you wonder if I have a stupid little thing is that's the thirst?